Uh, my name is Mallory. I'm 33 years old, and I live in Norman, Oklahoma. By age 23, I was taking care of six children full time by myself because my ex-husband was deployed to Afghanistan. I do a lot of like Pinterest and DIY stuff, and I know all kinds of like mommy remedies for all kinds of stuff. Being a mother for Mallory was her entire being. I was mom and dad. I was nurturer and the punisher. I was the party planner, the t-ball coach, the, the go-to mom for advice. She didn't miss a game. She didn't miss a pageant. She didn't miss a show. She was there night and day. Some would say I ran a very tight ship, which I did. She's strict, but that's how you got to be whenever you got six kids. If you let one run over you, <laughs> it'll be a stampede. My mother is currently only staying 15 minutes away from where I live, but she still never makes an effort to spend time with me or any of her kids. I'm addicted to heroin. I've been doing it for a little over a year now. Drugs have drained the very life out of her body. Mallory barely probably weighs 100 pounds. Her physical features are completely changed. Her eyes are sunken in. Her hair has fallen out. I don't like doing deals at all. I, I hate it. I've been held at gunpoint, had my life threatened. I've been punched in the face. When Mallory was 17, she started dating a man who had two very young twins who did not have a mother. She left him with these two premature babies, and he didn't know really how to take care of them, honestly. I went down to help him one night because the kids would not stop crying, and I rocked and held them to sleep and just never left after that. They needed a mom, and I needed a reason to be, so I stayed, and they became mine. Mallory fell into that role of mothering those babies pretty well for her age, and she really was smitten with them in love with those kids. To let a child raise a child, I thought it was very admirable, but I also thought it was insane. After finding out the twins had a sibling who was in foster care, I went and married my husband, and that gave me the grounds to petition for custody. After Mallory had adopted her three older children, she went on to have three of her own children, Sydney, Parker, and Nikki. When I was 24, my ex-husband was deployed. I had six kids at home that I was taking care of full time by myself, no help. She ran a tight ship as far as meal times, bedtimes, homework times. She was consistent. I was an active mom. I was, I was there. I like to play with my kids. I like to do projects with my kids. I was a t-ball coach for a long time. She was stressed, but for what she was doing, she did a darn good job. Because of my mom's addiction, she's definitely lost her relationship with most of her kids and even some of her family. <laughs> Brittany's just staying to herself when Mallory comes around. Brandon has no relationship with his mother whatsoever. Mallory was in her mid-20s when her husband came back from overseas. He came home mad. He had seen a lot of stuff that made him really angry. He was very, very, very damaged. There were some drastic changes in his behavior. He would sit on his bed and stare at a blank wall for long periods of time. It was a tense situation up in that house and volatile. That's when the arguments started happening over everything and anything. I didn't understand what he had been through, and I damn sure didn't understand why what he had been through was my fault, because I was being hit a lot. Mallory's marriage ended after a very explosive and frightening night. I had just had it. I was so tired of being beat up. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. I knew he wasn't going to stop until I died. About 2 in the morning, I woke up. He had grabbed me by my ankles. My bed was really high up off the ground. He grabbed me by my ankles and jerked me off the bed by my feet, so my head smacked down on the concrete really, really hard. 
And when I came to, like I opened my eyes, I had an assault rifle in my temple. And he said, bitch, you're gonna die. After four and a half hours of guns and knives and my head being bashed into the floor and strangling me, um, the police came through the door and saved me. Yeah, so the gun to her head told her he was gonna kill her and pull the trigger. I don't remember much after that. For about two months, I don't remember anything. I think that the abuse that Mallory endured at the end of her marriage, it pushed her off the edge into the hole she's in now. Where's the boys at? We sent them out there so you didn't hurt their feelings. I'm not gonna hurt their feelings. You Ooh. don't even know. They're already upset with you right now, so. Why are they upset with me? I didn't do because anything Because of the way today. you were acting. Because I don't want to be attacked by you two. Because you don't want to see how we feel. Y'all are attacking me. Y'all are just telling me how you feel, Brittany. Y'all are being very confrontational when I'm just trying to tell you that I love you and I'm sorry. Were we not just saying how we felt? I don't understand why she blew up over something as little as us telling her how we felt. We were trying to talk to you. We're trying to tell you how we feel. You wanted to talk. We were telling you. Okay, how tell we me feel. how you feel. Tell me how we you feel. We tried. You we stormed did. out and yelled at us for telling us how you how. No, we because felt. I needed a breather. That's that's me being psycho because Slamming I needed a breather. Doors and saying, "Get the f out of my face." I don't want to be around you, seriously, or I'm gonna end up yelling at you even more. You're already yelling at me, Sydney. That's why I walked well, out. You because you hurt. Going off on you. You keep doing this. This is not what a mother's supposed to do. You're not trying like you say you are. Get away how you from gonna, me. How are you gonna know what to work on if you don't know how we feel about things? Could you watch what the camera really does? Like seriously? Know. I really want to know. I love you, boys. I'm sorry the girls made it so dramatic. Sorry, she's gotta hurt y'all feelings again. What'd you say? Sorry that you have to hurt their feelings again. I didn't say anything like to hurt their feelings, time. psycho. It doesn't matter. It's the way you're acting. Shut your mouth. Okay, thanks a lot. Y'all go in there. I just can't give up, dude. Ooh, I can't stand her. Get, take me home. Just get me out of here. This is why we can't try with her. <laughs> Mallory was a daddy's girl. She was always on her dad's lap. They very much got each other. He was a wonderful, wonderful father. My hero, my daddy, my everything. And then he just dropped me and chose drugs and women and sex and jail over me, so. I struggled with alcohol and with pills. We were put in harm's way by our father, the addict. It was very scary. Mallory would do whatever she needed to do to protect us. I had to stay strong for Chelsea. I had to. My job on this earth, I honestly believe, was to take care of her. How are you guys? Morning. Good morning. Well. morning. It's Sydney. How are you feeling? Overwhelmed, nervous, anxious. She's just disappointed me so many times that if she doesn't go today, then Oh, well. She doesn't go, and I want nothing to do with her. But if she goes, good for her. She's good, she needs it. Good morning. Uh. Oh, no. Come on in, baby. Oh, come on in, baby. I've had to pick up the pieces of the broken hearts of your children. You have worked your way into a corner that you can't get out of by yourself, and that is why we are here. Mallory, I've imagined the sheriff pulling up in my driveway and telling me that you're dead, that they found you somewhere dead, that you had an overdose or that someone murdered you. You know what that's like for a mother. You have caused me to have a hard time trusting people and believing people because I think everyone is going to lie to me or has lied to me because you have very many times. I have seen your addiction negatively affect your life by changing your appearance, damaging your health, you're ruining your relationship with me and other family members. And you've lost all respect for yourself. And you, 
You've lost the right to be called mother for the time being. <laughs> As you've broken my heart several times. <laughs> I can't read anymore. <sighs> Will you accept this wonderful gift that we all have for you? Oh what did you say? Oh well. You go? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Mom. Oh, thank God. We all love you, and we are very excited to have you back. I've been sober for 68 days now. Oh, man, it feels great. I never thought I would make, make it here. I thought I'd die before I made it here. The hardest thing that I've had to deal with since I've been here is facing my trauma. That trauma defined me for a long time, but it doesn't define me anymore. You look great. Thank so you. So happy that we got to see you like this. You do look a whole lot better than before. Whenever I go back home, I am going to let my brothers and sisters know that she is doing better and that I hope that eventually they'll be able to see that she's changed and allow themselves to come back into her life. I'm glad that you've gotten better, and I'm proud of you. Thank you, baby. I got a lot more work to go, but um, I'm getting there.